Any parent knows the frustration of telling their children to do something and having them demand to know why as a precondition to their compliance. Sometimes there's an appropriate answer, other times not so much. Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond and welcome again to Fresh. The truth is you can't put an old head on young shoulders. So when my father made me clean my room every Saturday morning, or when my mother insisted that I practice the piano for at least half an hour each day, both things that I hated doing back then, they could never have explained the fruit that those disciplines would bear in my character all these years later. In the same way, God sometimes calls us to do things which at the time we don't like, things that don't make sense, things that we just don't want to do. And it's in that place that faith comes into play or not. God called Abraham to travel to another place that he promised to give him. Abraham didn't know where that place was, but he obeyed God and started traveling because he had faith. Abraham lived in the country that God promised to give him. He lived there like a visitor who didn't belong. He did this because he had faith. He lived in tents with Isaac and Jacob, who also received the same promise from God. So God called Abraham and his wife Sarah out of their wealthy, comfortable existence into an uncertain, impossible, and intensely uncomfortable 25-year journey. They hadn't a clue where God was leading them, but they set out in faith. They obeyed God anyway. Faith is following and obeying God, even when it doesn't make sense. That's his word fresh for you today. And on your faith journey, the most powerful tool on your belt is prayer, because the only sort of prayer the Bible teaches about is the sort that has powerful results. And we would absolutely love to pray with you into whatever need you might have. So stop by at PowerfulPrayer.org to share your prayer request so that we can pray with you. Again, that's PowerfulPrayer.org.